neither Pete nor Schneider said that this didn't happen. I don't know if Russell Wilson's reputation could be, could be tarnished any more than it has been over the last calendar year, but this is pretty bad. This is really bad. Russell Wilson went to two Super Bowls with Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll has built a dynasty at USC and has kept a train rolling for more than a decade in Seattle. Pete Carroll went through multiple offensive coordinators to appease Russell Wilson. Pete Carroll, I know he wanted to run the football, Russ didn't love it, but Pete Carroll never said a bad word about Russ. Never threw Russ under the bus, never did anything. Only praised Russ up and down. Pete Carroll stood by when the Legion of Boom was picked apart and allowed to go elsewhere, traded, signed somewhere else as Russ got all the money. Pete Carroll let Russ throw at the goal line in the Super Bowl. For Russ to turn around and ask for Carroll and Schneider to be fired tells you a lot about Russell Wilson. It's about Russ. And Russ likes to make it seem like he's about team and overcoming the odds and selling Subway sandwiches. But Russ is about Russ. And that was the problem last year in Denver is that we got to see it laid out bare. Russ was about Russ. Didn't trust the Broncos coaches, wanted his own. Didn't trust the Broncos training staff, he did his own. Didn't trust the Broncos locker room, wanted his own office. Russ is in it for Russ. And for Russ to want Pete Carroll fired and to request it, and for the Seahawks to say, you know what, we're done here and trade away Russ. And then the Seahawks go to the verge of the playoffs and the Broncos are a nightmare. It was a real comeuppance. And I don't think that this is poor reporting because let's go back to the Monday night opener when there was clearly an emotion about beating Russell Wilson and in Seattle, on Seattle radio, Pete Carroll is asked, well, why did this mean more? Why did this, Why did your team respond like that? And Pete said, you figure it out. I'll let you guys figure it out. Said it all. Because Pete's basically saying, those guys knew. Russ tried to get me fired. Those guys knew that Russ shot his way out of town, that Russ didn't trust this, that Russ didn't trust them. You figure it out. Russ wanted out. Russ wanted us fired. You figure it out. So that was a big one. That's a big one. You won a Super Bowl with the guy. Okay, maybe he didn't completely coddle you because he wanted to run the football a little bit more than you did. But for the most part, Pete was the ultimate Russ cheerleader. You wanted him fired? Not for nothing, but this crash down to earth is very enjoyable to watch if this is the type of person that Russ is. Russ needed something like this. He wanted his way. He wants it done his way. He wants to act like he understands the world at large and he's an inspiration and he's going to let's ride Broncos country. Let's ride Broncos country. The reality is Russ needed a heavy dose of look at yourself in the mirror. The team you left is actually okay. The team you went to crashed and burned. And now they're taking away all your toys. 